and I wanted to do a video today talking about probably one of the most common messages that I've gotten sent since I've started this YouTube. Um, and that question being, how to become a dietitian. Um, a lot of people message me, ask me how I became a dietitian. People wanna know if I like the job. Um, I get a lot of younger um, guys and girls messaging me saying, oh, I'm not really sure if it's for me. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? So I wanted to talk a little bit about that today. Um, first of all, I'll talk about how to become a dietitian, um, a registered dietitian, very important because a lot of people can come can claim they're a nutritionist, they're a dietitian. You really need to make sure people have their credentials to see if they're the real deal, such as myself. Okay, so what someone needs to do is complete a four-year degree bachelor program at an accredited school or university. Um, what I mean by accredited means that the program meets all the requirements. So you take all the classes necessary, that program is actually audited um, by ASEND, which I'm not going to go into what that stands for because I'll screw it up. Um, but they actually oversee the schools that do these dietetic programs to make sure you're getting the right education, all the components that you need. So first things first is finding an accredited university. You have to go for at least four years. Um, and as an aside, I'll tell you right now, they're looking to, in the future, make the program a six-year program for dietitians. So the field could be changing a little bit. So I'm just speaking to what it is right now and what I went through. Um, I went to Syracuse University here in New York. Um, I actually did a two-year program first um, at a community college. Saved a shit ton of money. Nothing wrong with going to community college, okay? So I went to SUNY Morrisville for two years and completed a diet tech program. Um, that's actually the route I'm gonna recommend. I'm super biased because that's what I did and I loved it. But let me tell you something. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people go to school. They wanna be a dietitian. They think it sounds all fun and fancy. They're gonna like be a sports dietitian. That's what I hear everyone say. Uh, good luck with that. It's not that simple to be a sports dietitian and go be the dietitian for like the New York Knicks or whatever team you love, okay? I'm not into sports, so don't crucify me for saying New York Knicks. Um, it's not that simple. And a lot of people, I think, go and they start doing the, the four-year degree and they're not sure what the hell they're getting themselves into. And then they end up dropping out or changing majors. By doing the two-year diet tech degree, if they're still out there, I think it's great because you start in with the internship your very first year. You get a feel for going into hospitals, talking with patients, and you get a better idea, I think, of what the job itself is like. But just my opinion. Regardless, end of the day, you have to get that four-year bachelor's degree from an accredited school. And then what you have to do from there is you have to complete an internship program. Um, could be six months long, could be a year long. Depends what program you go through. So there'll be an application process where you'll have to interview and apply and hopefully get accepted to an internship program. With that, you have to complete a certain amount of hours um, of practicum in the field to get that experience in a bunch of different areas. Um, before you can sit for an exam. Um, what I did was actually through Syracuse University. Um, my internship was actually built into my, my senior year. So in my fourth year, I was taking classes in addition to my internship. Um, so I interned Tuesday through Friday, and sometimes I'd go back to school after my internship and take my coursework. So it was a lot at once. Um, not a lot of programs out there like that anymore. So typically you're looking at five, a five year span, four years doing your, your bachelor's, applying for an internship, and you're gonna count on like six months to a year for your internship. It does cost you money, but fortunately now you can get financial aid to help with that if that's a worry for you. Um, but the great thing about the internship is kinda, it gives you experience in a bunch of different places to see kinda what area you wanna go into. So you finish your internship successfully, hopefully, and then you can sit for the exam. Um, the exam is given by the, um, the commission that oversees dietitians. So um, it's a pro computerized testing. It sucks. There's some study guides out there, but you know, it's just, it's kind of like the GREs. If anyone's ever taken an exam like that, SATs, those style of computerized testing. So you have to sit for the test and pass that. Once you pass it, you're a registered dietitian. Boom, you got it. So 
Um, there's a lot of different avenues to get there. Those are just the basics. Um, a lot of different programs out there. So just kind of search online where you live, where you're looking to go, what programs you're looking at, make sure it's accredited. You're looking and taking a lot of coursework. It's not just nutrition um, classes. You're taking, nutrition is very science-based. You're gonna be taking um, a lot of chemistry. You're gonna be taking anatomy and physiology, microbiology. Do you have to be great at science? No, I wasn't really good going into this this field with science, but I worked my balls off and I was passionate about it. And you know, I had really good professors, and so I, I did well. You know, I did what I needed to. Um, you're also going to be taking classes on you know food science, the food industry, economics, business. You really get the whole gamut because there's so many different areas with nutrition you can go into. Um, do I think it's a good field to go into? Absolutely. There's actually a huge shortage of dietitians right now. And the great thing about dietitians are I could move anywhere and I will be able to find a job. Dietitians are needed everywhere. Healthcare is everywhere. So um, depends on what you're looking to do in the field, but there's lots of options. Um, for myself, I started out in nursing homes while I was in school, and then I moved into psychiatrics, um, worked at a state psychiatric hospital as a dietitian, and then within that, I was actually promoted, and now I'm the department head. So I'm still a dietitian, but my main role right now is management, overseeing the dietitians, overseeing food service. So the nice thing about this job too is there is room for advancement as well. Um, and then one of the other things I wanted to say about um, dietitians as well is you are required, once you pass your exam, it's not like end-all, be-all. Um, you're required to maintain your education in order to keep your credentials. Um, you have to because the field's ever-changing. New research is coming out. The stuff that I learned when I was in college, um, I graduated in 2005, um, has all changed. You know, recommendations for diabetes, everything. A lot of stuff just keeps changing as we keep learning more. So every you have to keep a portfolio and every five years um, the Academy for Nutrition actually audits your portfolio you know and either approves you for the next five years or not. So I have to take I believe it's 75 credits you have within five years that you have to take and it, you make your own goals and you know it really makes sense for any field I think to have this type of requirement. So um, in terms of money, some people ask me about salary on average, <clears throat> depending on where you live, you know, anywhere from like low 50s to high 60s is kind of the average, depending on where you live, the economy, you could be making a little less, maybe in the 40s. If you're in, you know, business, research, all that kind of stuff, you could be making upwards of 80s. So it's a field that you live comfortably. Are you going to be rich off of it? Probably not. I mean, I guess that depends how you spend your money. Um, but I definitely, I love it. I'm passionate about it. I think for those of you that are not in college yet and are looking into this field, I would recommend um, connecting with a dietitian maybe in your area, seeing if you can go in and shadow them, um, get as much volunteer experience in as possible to find out if it's a field you really like because um, I know a lot of girls that actually don't even practice dietetics because they found out last year of college. They didn't like it. So um, hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Like I said, um, a lot of people have been asking me about this. So if you have further questions, feel free to message me and I could sit here and ramble about being a dietitian forever. So hopefully this helped. Keep sending me your questions, you guys, and like this video if you liked it and uh, we'll talk to you soon.